At least 4,000 different species of birds regularly migrate, that's around 40% of all birds. In colder climates like Scandinavia, birds tend to migrate more often in order to escape the freezing winters. But nobody quite knows how birds migrate. There is, however, a widely believed and popular theory. This video has been made in collaboration with thingswedontknow.com, a science education company that aims to explain the questions that we don't know the answers to yet, encouraging an awareness of current scientific research and helping to identify what areas new discoveries could be made in. With their help, in this video we will be looking at how exactly birds manage to find their way. Just a couple of examples of bird migration. An unladen swallow migrates from Britain to South Africa, which is around 700,000 miles in just 10 days, and the albatross travels all the time and can spend up to 16 months at sea, covering around 240,000 kilometers. So how do they know where to go? And it may seem at first like an obvious question, just learn which way to go at certain parts of the year. But very young birds have been observed making their first migration without any help from any other individuals that have made the journeys before. So how do they know where to go? Well, we don't really know, but we have a pretty good idea of the basics. It's thought that some birds use the sun and stars to help navigate around Earth, similar to the early human travellers. However, others use the planet's magnetic field to find their way around. This is called vision-based magnetoreception. The vision here is very important, because birds need their eyes for this. Well, eye, their right eye, not their left eye. Why? We don't know. This was proved by experiments where the eyes of the birds were covered up, and their left eye was covered and then the right eye. The bird could navigate almost perfectly with its left eye covered, but was way off both other times. So how do the birds use this to navigate then? A popular idea is that the magnetic fields cause a reaction in the bird's eye that changes the way that they are sensitive to light waves. This idea suggests that because of this, birds can see the magnetic fields as patterns, and therefore know which direction they're going. But this gets exciting when you realise that this is relying on quantum physics, or more specifically, quantum entanglement. In a very basic sense, how this works is that a light breaks off an electron from a pair of electrons from an atom and forces it onto another atom. But this pair of electrons that are now in separate atoms are quantum entangled, meaning that the movements of one will influence the movement of the other. Now because of the distance between them, the magnetic field of the Earth affects how they move, and because they are quantum entangled, this affects chemical reactions which influences the bird's brain. How birds learn to do this and learn where to go is still a mystery though, but there is a theory that we may be born with inherited memory of our ancestors imprinted on our DNA. This could explain very basic survival instincts, such as phobias or savants. This is backed up by evidence. If one of your ancestors has a famine and survived, they can pass on some DNA that means your body tends to store and retain fat more easily. This can skip through generations though, going straight to an organism's grandchildren. This all sounds very complicated, and that's because it is. And even then, it's all really just advanced theory, because no one is quite sure how it works. It's just one of those things we don't know. There are other ways that birds could migrate, such as the theory that I mentioned earlier that they use the sun and stars to navigate, and that they use landmarks such as rivers and more recently roads. As we mentioned in the beginning, this video has been made with the help from Things We Don't Know, a science education company based here in the UK. It is the goal of this organisation to create a place where all the questions that science is still finding answers to can be collected, in order to help increase public awareness of them and to aid researchers in finding topics that are currently being investigated. This place is the website thingswedontknow.com. Here you can find an easily accessible and extensive list of all the scientific mysteries and currently unanswered questions that are being worked on, with the links to the places that are studying them and the references to relevant sites and publications. Things We Don't Know really says it best themselves. There are two distinct aspects to science, learning about what science has discovered and discovering new things. We feel that scientists tend to concentrate on explaining the things we already know and rarely explain the things we don't. We are dedicated to explaining the questions to which science still seeks answers. I highly recommend that you go and have a look at their website if you haven't already. I'm sure you'll find something there that will interest you, since learning about the things we don't know and the research being done to discover the answers to them is one of the most exciting parts to science. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to find out about our world, other worlds, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you'd like to see more from us.